Pastor Mark Burns, congressional candidate for uh, Trey Gowdy's seat. Yes. How has the response been since you've announced that you are running in the Republican primary? You know, I'm blown away, uh, Kevin, by this the outpouring from the nation and from the upstate of South Carolina. I mean, people are coming out the woodwork. They're saying, this is what we need in America. You've supported the president from day one. You've took hell for it. You've taken heat for it, but you're still standing. You're a rock, and that's what we need in Congress. Why are you running for Congress? Because, again, if we would have more Republicans, Kevin, that was um, truly supporting the make America Great Again agenda um, that was supporting the initiative of the president, we would already repeal Obamacare. We would already have the funding for the wall. The, the, we would be putting the American First agenda forward without making, uh, without liberals making Americans feel like they're racist because they're proud to be Americans. What's, well, wait, what do you mean by that? without making Americans feel that they're racist? Well, I mean, that's really one of the taxes that liberals are doing. They're utilizing. They're making people feel like, okay, so illegals want to come into our country. They're breaking into our country. They're stealing jobs from people. They are giving up, losing opportunities, especially within the minority community. That's what's really been uh, the workers, the, the, the laborers are losing jobs out of people who are coming here illegally. And we're not saying we don't want illegals, to, uh, uh, immigrants to be here. We're saying that we want you to come through the door properly and that we should focus more on Americans first and not so much illegals who have entered into our nation illegally. But Pastor, when you hear some of the president's remarks specifically on race during the campaign as well as in his first year in office, and he's criticized by virtually a large majority of the, of the minority community. What, what is your response? Again, it's the same tactic that has always been used by the Democratic Party. This time it happened to be just Donald Trump. I mean, they said the same thing about Ronald Reagan. Really, any Republican candidate, uh, the, the, the Democrat Party you, tries to take us back to the, you know, to the civil rights movement. They try to remind the black community that it was the Democratic Party that, 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 that through Dr. King and the, uh, those that marched, um, helped set black people truly free. Um, but the fact of the matter is, uh, I'm, my focus, Kevin, is not on the last 150 years. My focus is on the next 150 years. It is through economic empowerment, not social problems. Well, what is the number one issue then that you think is facing the upstate South Carolina voters? Well, access to success. That's my message. Access to success. We need to be bringing jobs back to the upstate of South Carolina. There's so many families that have lost homes and so many families that are, have become destitute because we have cut off access to success. Now, President Trump is bringing jobs back to our nation. He He's making it enticing for people to, to, to bring companies and manufacture companies back to the state of South Carolina, primarily the 4th District of South Carolina, so we can bring economic prosperity back to our nation. Pastor, if elected, you would be one of the first, if not the first, of the Trumpian Republicans to be elected into Congress. Are you satisfied with Republican leadership, specifically in the House, for how they have worked with this administration? Absolutely not. Again, I think that's that's the birthing. You asked that early. Why am I running? Because I see President Trump and the administration out there by himself. Even though Americans, Republican Americans have spoken, even though the conservative uh, movement is behind President Trump, our our congressional leadership is still not really behind the president like they should be. Again, we will already have repealed Obamacare. We will already have a new health care system if Republicans were behind it. We still wouldn't be debating it like we're still doing. Um, and and, and, and ha making sure that the president keeps his promises that he said he was going to run on. So come mid-November, should you be elected, should you be sworn in next January, your message to Speaker Paul Ryan is what? Get behind the president of the United States. Get behind the people of America. Focus on the people and not the party. Because the people is what elected Donald Trump, not the party.